breaking news on next week's Democratic debates. We now know the candidate podium placement. Here with that new information, NBC News national political correspondent Steve Kornacki. Steve, this is obviously, it, it, some might say this isn't relevant, but it, it, it definitely is relevant to the people on the stage, where they stand and how they're going to look on TV. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, this has been a question. Two nights, 10 candidates on stage per night. Where are they all going to stand? Where are they going to stand in relation to each other? So here it is. Again, last week, remember, we had the drawing here that determined which candidates would go the first night, Wednesday, next, Wednesday of next week, which candidates candidates would go the Thursday night, the second debate. Now we know where they will be standing on the stage. Let me take you through this. So let's begin with the first night, the first podium on the left side of the stage, and it goes to Bill de Blasio, the New York City mayor. Remember, he was one of the last candidates to even qualify for these debates. You needed to hit 3%, uh, 1% in three polls. He hit 1% in three polls. He gets that podium next to de Blasio will be Congressman Tim Ryan from Ohio. Next to him, Julian Castro from Texas. Next to him, Cory Booker, now we're starting to get to the middle of the stage. There's Elizabeth Warren. She will be the highest polling candidate in this opening night debate. Warren registering double digits in some polls right now. She, number one in terms of polling on this stage. Next to her on the other side, Beto O'Rourke obviously came to this race with high expectations, needs to reinvigorate his campaign potentially. Amy Klobuchar next to him on the stage. Tulsi Gabbard, the congresswoman from Hawaii. And Jay Inslee, the Washington governor, rounding out the first night. I can tell you, in terms of why this order was chosen, well, once they had the random drawing to decide who's going night one, who's going night two. The placement here, largely it is based on polls and it works its way from the outside towards the middle of the stage. And so you see Elizabeth Warren, as I said, the highest poll, excuse me, John Delaney, John Delaney, the 10th and final candidate the first night in terms of the second night. And remember, it's the second night where you've got Biden, where you've got Bernie Sanders, Pete Buttigieg, Kamala Harris. Let's take a look at that. Again, first podium on the on the wing there, Marianne Williamson. She is in this debate. She will be on that stage. John Hickenlooper, the former governor of Colorado, Andrew Yang, the entrepreneur. He's up there as well. Here you start to get to the middle. Here's where you start to get to the candidates who are registering in the polls. Watch this lineup right here in the middle. Pete Buttigieg, the South Bend mayor, Next to him, the former vice president, Joe Biden. This is where he will be standing with Buttigieg on one side. The other side of Biden will be Bernie Sanders, number two in the polls now nationally. Buttigieg, Biden, Sanders. And you can probably guess, next to Sanders, Kamala Harris. So those four, the highest polling candidates here on the second night, they will be in the middle of the stage there. You'll have Kirsten Gillibrand next to them. Michael Bennett next to them. And the final candidate, Eric Swalwell, the congressman from California. So that's night two. Ten candidates each night, Allie. That's where they're going to be standing on the stage down there in Miami. I can say without a doubt that that is the most enthusiastic and spirited conversation I have ever had in my life about podium placement. <laughs> Brought to you courtesy of Steve Kornacki. Thank you, sir. Thanks, that, was, that was very good. I like that. All right. We are just, as Steve says, days away from the first presidential debate of the 2020 election cycle, June 26th and June 27th in Miami. See, I even need music to make this exciting. He made podium placement interesting without music. Uh, this, of course, is going to be moderated by Lester Holt, Savannah Guthrie, Jose diaz Bilar, Chuck Todd, and Rachel Maddow. The primetime events will be broadcast live across NBC News, MSNBC, Telemundo, streamed on NBC News digital properties. You're going to have to, like, leave the country not to see this thing. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.